to be a husband to you. From this moment forward, you shall be mine. Anna, do you take courage as your husband, submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of this union for the rest of your life? And repeat unto me. I, Hannah, Laura, Walton, according to the word of God, submit myself to you, to be a wife to you, from this moment forward, you shall be And I have the bride's ring is a very precious thing, a token of your faith and your love. This ring is made of precious metal. It is a never-ending circle that includes the continuum of life that God loves you. Never present yourself hard. Never talk to God. Never cry and pray to God. Never talk to God. Never talk to God. Never talk to God. If anyone could break up this shoe, we would be safe to give him no Place this ring on Hannah's finger and repeat these words. With this ring, I be it. It is a token of my love for you and a token of my faith. That I release now with Jesus. Can I have the truth? A ring can mean two different things. It can never, it's a never ending sign of love, or it can be a shadow. I am going to charge you with a memory. You should always remember, Kurt. This woman stands by your side, not under your feet. You have the responsibility of being the head of this union. You have the spiritual responsibility. I have, I want you to wear this ring in remembrance that she is your helpmate. It may never be a shackle of dominance, but always a reminder of faith. Anna, I want you to place this ring on Kurt's finger with these things in mind. There is no place in the Word of God that gives people the right to dominate one another. Your vows have stated that you submit to one another in the responsibilities of this life, expecting God in His power to always make the difference. So place this ring on His finger, and as you do, say to Him, with this ring, I do that. I give it as a token of my faith. I believe with all my heart that it is forever. It is my love and my faith in the name of Jesus. As a representative of Jesus Christ and as a minister of the gospel in the state of Washington, I have the privilege and honor to pronounce your name.
pray that God will mightily bless us in the marriage of Hannah and Kurt, since because of Jesus we are all blessed by God, because of God's blessing to Abraham, among his descendants is the sand. We are, we as descendants are blessed by God. The word says you will bless your going and come out and come in, even where your foot is been. You are blessed with abundance in all things. You are blessed with fruitfulness in children, and you are blessed with all knowledge. I speak these blessings of God to your marriage, and pray that he blesses your friends, both new and old, and to all who are here today, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Tennessee to bless and find a grandpa.